اذا اول كيس حتكون ستروك بوست فالف سيرجري وات تو دو والمقدمان حيكون الدكتور صلاح الطرابشه والدكتور ماهر الخوادي من الخدمات الطبيه الملكيه فتفضلوا 10 دقائق نحاول Colleagues, good evening. I want, I want to thank Dr. Mahmoud and my other colleagues for getting this activity happen today. So our case today is about good experience with endovascular treatment of early stroke after cardiac surgery. So I quoted this quote, uh, this say from uh, Woody Allen, who said that don't hurt my brain, it's my second favorite organ. So, uh, talking about embolic stroke. What was his first organ? What was his first organ? Conference video tape. Oh, yes, it's a heart. Conference video tape. Rated PG, I don't know how to So, and talking about embolic stroke, 20% the embolic stroke are originated from the heart. And talking about the sources in the heart, and talking about sources in the heart, embolic strokes, can originate it from the heart chambers, or the heart valves, or the heart walls, or any communication between the heart chambers. And in a large study by Dr. Frederick Small that included 16,000 patients, the rate of strokes after cardiac surgery varied according to the procedure. And what they found in this study, that the incidence of stroke after cabbage approaches 3.8%. While after aortic valve replacement, it was 4.8%. And after mitral valve replacement, it reaches up to 8.8%. While after double or triple valve replacement, it was 9.7%. So, and mortality uh, is six times in patients who develop stroke after cardiac surgery compared to patients who didn't have any stroke. So our case today is a 53-year-old female patient who had a severe rheumatic mitral valve stenosis and severe tricuspid valve regurgitation, and she was in NYHA class three to four, and she was in normal sinus rhythm. So what I did for her is a mitral valve replacement using St. Jude's 31 mitral valve mechanical valve, and it was a tricuspid valve repair using carpenter ring, and the patient went off by fast in normal sinus rhythm, and she was anticoagulated using heparin and warfarin till the fifth pass of the day. And during our management, we were trying to keep this patient in the therapeutic window to avoid hemorrhagic and thromboembolic complications. So on the fifth pass of the day, patient, she had a flat effect, and she had slowed speech and mental status showed difficulties with orientation, attention, and cal calculations, and she had a left-sided weakness. And on the physical examination, she had an irregular heart rate and, and an opening click in the mitral valve. Her labs showed importantly her INR was 2.5. So we studied this patient, we did a hematological worker, and ECG and echocardiogram and the breast scan. So this is the initial brain CT scan that didn't show any bleeding in the brain. So patient is anticoagulated and she's stable, but she's having evolving stroke. So at this time, we, we were in the, in, the, in the therapeutic window, three hours at that time. So we called our expert in the new interventional radiology to help in, this, in the management of this case. Thank you very much.